My name is Anna Cohen and I'm putting an ensemble together for the museum and we are in Northeast Portland. The fully fashioned piece that I have created is made from yarn from the Imperial Stock Ranch and Imperial Stock Ranch is in Oregon. It's a 35,000 acre ranch. This yarn, it's shorn in Oregon and then trucked across the country and dyed and spun and carded and combed and and um, then comes back to the West Coast to the knitwear factory where I can go and create with the team there. For the Polar Tech piece, I am working with fabric that they've created. And the fabric that I'm using is a very exciting new technology that they've developed and it's called Power Wool. There's um, merino wool on the inside and um, synthetic on the outside. The imperial piece, that's going to be the cardigan that's going to be draped over the polar tech piece, which will be a dress. And unlike what we most commonly think of polar tech fabric being used for, um, this is going to be a ready-to-wear fashion sportswear type of look, which is very exciting to, to bridge those worlds. Actually, this whole process, it, for me, is extremely exciting because I'm taking things that don't usually sit together and building these bridges. For Imperial, it's bridging urban and rural and fashion and craft. And for Polar Tech, it's bridging nature and technology and sportswear and activewear. And then all together, they're coming into this unified look under sort of this umbrella of knitwear, bringing the fully fashioned with the cut and sew. So it's a really exciting mix of all of these elements that are really beautiful to work with. My inspiration comes mostly from nature. I feel like the more connected I am with nature, the more I'm able to interpret the world um, through this medium. Going back to the source and working with yarn is a particular kind of being connected with nature and the actual process. I went to school in New York City at Fashion Institute of Technology, and then I went off to Italy and went to their sister school, Polymoda, in Florence, and I ended up staying there. I lived in Italy for four years and was able to work for some really incredible design houses, which influenced my ability to design so very much.